This is a video example of a project completed by GSM Industrial where we doubled the size and made modifications to an equipment access platform for a local manufacturer. On the existing platform, the stairs were too steep, the handrails were too short, and the toe kick was too low. It just wasn't functioning for the facility and was not within the OSHA code. So we took measurements in the field and drew up the plans on our CAD system. Then we sent the drawings out to our shop in order to fabricate the improved components. You can see just some of our shop capabilities. We first source the material and cut and bend all of the pieces to size. Here you see our tech fitting up the section of the handrail. This is part of the support structure that will hold up the platform. In this case, our customer was very concerned because they already had one fall with injury, so they needed to not only bring it up to code, but actually improve the usability of the equipment. We were able to design a modification plan that reused much of what was already in place. We are also focused on safety at GSM. Our team is trained extensively on our safety guidelines both in the shop and in the field. We comply with OSHA and MSHA standards and have an EMR rating of .766, which is one of the best in the industry. Here you see our automated drill line. In this case, we're drilling two pieces of channel back to back, but it can be used for wide flange beams and other structural shapes as well. Although it is efficient on its own, I actually sped up the video even more just to save time. GSM's 110,000 square feet facility is rigged with multiple overhead cranes. Our single bay max capacity is 55 tons with 20 feet under the hook. We've built pieces as long as 64 feet and weighing more than 67,000 pounds. This side of our shop is used for smaller projects and weldments. Just about every job we do is unique and we rarely make the same item twice. Our automated bandsaw cuts with controlled speed and pressure and here it's shown in fast forward as well. Here you see our welder who is trained and certified on various materials and welding processes. We keep up with the latest AWS, ASME, and CWB guidelines for MIG, TIG, and stick welding and have in-house certified weld inspectors. After it's fit up and welded, Mike cleans up the welds to prep for blasting. We do have our own blasting and painting booths in the shop. I couldn't record the blasting since I didn't want to ruin my camera, but you can see that it leaves a very clean, consistent, and rough surface in order to ensure adhesion of the primer. Our customer wanted us to meet the existing blue color scheme for the platforms, and we did the handrails in OSHA Safety Yellow. For this job, we used one of our own trucks to deliver the components to the customer site, and our install crew was able to put it in at the same time. First, we had to remove the old handrail. We did keep one piece of the existing platform and added our new section to the right of the one you see here. In this case, we built it as an integrated piece with the handrail welded to the platform, which reduced the amount of time needed for installation. Once the additional platform was in place and anchored securely to the floor, we added the new stairs, which you can see have a more reasonable climbing angle and the proper handrail height. We were able to turn this project around in about three weeks. It took about a week for field measuring, shop drawings and approvals, and then two weeks for fabrication and installation. You can see this and many other projects by GSM at our website, gsmindustrial.com. Thanks for watching.